rematch and what do you feel Joshua needs to do differently um, to have success this time around against Usyk? Well, he's he's already kind of started what he was, um, you know, what he needs to do. And like I've seen him in there, like with guys like wrestling and doing stuff like that. So I guess that you know that will work to use his size for for his advantage and um, you know try and uh, just try and hit him. And uh, but I guess it's at the same time it's hard because Usyk is you know a very intelligent guy when it comes to boxing, and um, you know he's like he said he's like three steps ahead. Of him so it like you know just to, to kind of break like Joshua kind of needs to like break that pattern somehow and like manage to land something uh damaging and not um not blow a gasket at the same time because it's over 12 rounds and uh, but yeah it's um you know looking forward to that fight and see what the outcome is again and can Joshua do it or is it uh who's it gonna cruise on those are the words of Joe Juggernaut Joyce as he gives his prediction or <clears throat> basically his take, his counterpunch on Anthony Joshua, or should I say Alexander Usyk versus Anthony Joshua 2, the rematch. And <clears throat> one person that knows uh, Alexander Usyk is Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce also sparred numerous rounds with Anthony Joshua as well, so he's familiar with both fighters. But he did say, and he brought some encouraging words to Joshua with what he's seen him wrestling, you know, and the way he <clears throat> he's using his size to get on the inside. And a lot of times you have to do that with guys that are very technical and savvy, okay, like Alexander Usyk. You have to use what you have because they're sure as shit using what they have, you know, and Usyk's using everything, but he's using it all in unison. OK, so, you know, um, I can see why Juggernaut could see that being successful. Um, I personally don't think so. I would have to see it to believe it. But I do know when anyone has you in a clinch and you're trying to punch, that's a tires that that's a tiresome position that you keep putting yourself in. Or they're actually they're trying to put you in, you know, because someone grabs you and you're trying to throw you're dispersing more energy trying to do that. You know, it's, it's it's crazy when somebody grabs you and holds you. You know, it's your adrenaline's already up because your adrenaline is based off what you're trying to do and your adrenaline flows with what you're attempting to do. Well, if someone holds you, it's like it's like they're smothering your um your aggression, you know, and your adrenaline. You know what I'm saying? So it's weird, you know. Uh, if you ever sparred before, you would know, like you're trying to, you know, drool it out. Or you're trying to throw that hard punch or, and you're trying to position you're in place to land it. But all of a sudden he grabs you. So it's kind of hard, you know, especially someone that's good at grappling. So um, maybe that might work for Anthony Joshua. But um, him also saying that Alexander Usyk's three steps ahead. You know, I think that's that's the case. If you look at Usyk and you look at the Joshua fight, and or any really Us any fight with Usyk or like Loma, you notice they anticipate what a fighter does on the norm, based on what they seen that fighter do. Okay, so if they see the jab, the right hand, the double jab, the double jab to the body, the right hand, the left hook, they're already putting themselves def defensively in that mode. Almost, they're trying to like. They're trying to aid the formation and muscle memory of that fighter by mimicking, you know, anticipating already, okay, he's going to, okay, you know, you know, because they already, it's like they're already foreseeing what you're doing based off where you're positioning your foot, your shoulder, you know what I mean? Your body posture are, okay, he's going to throw a hook. Let me slip it. You know, let me, you know, let me block the jab. Let me slip the right hand. Let me follow with my left hook. You know, or should I say my straight left and right hook, you know, and then, you know, and then elude. And so it's a lot of things that it's a lot of things that Alexander Usyk does that gives people fits, you know. But um, you got to give it to Joe Joyce, you know, because Joe Joyce is a guy, of course, again, he knows these guys and he knows what they're about. Um, but like he said, you know, Usyk's tricky. So I like his take on it because he's not siding with any of these guys. He's just like, well, hey, I like what Josh was doing. But, you know, like I know about o Alexander Usyk, he's always three steps ahead. So we just have to see if he will be three steps ahead with Anthony Joshua, despite Anthony Joshua implementing, you know, the wrestling techniques. Right. 
the the the, the Roman Greco Greco uh, wrestling techniques, right? <laughs> but anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Joe Joyce's counterpunch towards Usyk versus Joshua too. Please subscribe, and you guys been counterpunch. Peace.